we started yesterday so we discuss about these are the things that we'll be looking at them the depth of magnetic sources and the basement so these two can be combined together as one today we focus first on the last part first that is the edge distortion of magnetic anomalies and that is what we, we are going to do and that is about edge dejection or sometimes they call it structural analysis what is the purpose the purpose of this is to locate the boundaries of magnetic source bodies and to come up with a structural map or sometimes we call them the linear net map of the study area so there are a lot of methods but one method is not enough in order to map those boundaries what are those boundaries you have body A, body rock A, rock C, rock B. Rock A, B, C. A and C, let's say they have uh, they are sedimentary. In between them, you have an intrusion of all these uh, foreign rocks inside. So that, that that is the boundary. Those are the edges. Those edges sometimes can be a fault. It can be other things. So at that edges, some, you find out that this derivative you are seeing, The, the the derivative that you are seeing, the x, the uh, partial derivative of magnetic field with respect to x with respect to y, we try to be maximum at that edges because because you know from the left and to the right the values are low. In between the edges, the magnetic intensity is high, the magnetic susceptibility is high. That means there will be high values, so the maximum will be maximum at the edges, and that is the idea behind these derivatives of using to mark boundaries, which are very important. They are main two ones we will be using to, in order to mark those boundaries. So that once we know those boundaries, we know, yes, that is where the contact are. It may be a fault. It may be other things where well, maybe I prospect for mineral exploration. And the expert of using derivative is that because in mineral exploration, you don't have to go deeper in order to have uh, minerals. They are most shallow areas, and that is what the derivative works best when you are in the area of uh, mineral exploration. Then this is the total horizontal derivative, which we will get. These techniques involve finding discontinuities where the local maximum in the AGM are aligned. And magnetic source bodies can be interpreted at this location. That means at those boundaries where you see the maximum on this map, those, those maximum you see, if they align together, they form a linear features. That one can be considered as a as a contact, which is vertically down. That is one of the assumption. That is vertically down. As far as vertically down, then it can be able to 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 map out or delineate those areas. And that is the instance you have to take note of. The maximum it would be going to be maximum at the boundaries. Discontinuity. That means changes of what magnetic susceptibility. Then the other one used a different approach total and the tilt angle derivative which the unit is in form of uh, which the unit is in form of uh, radiance from minus 1.3 divided by 2 around minus 1.3 to 1.3 somewhere what this one does it makes use of the first vertical derivative you can if which you can see here and this, uh, and the down one is a total horizontal derivative along the x then along the y in taking the angle and the angle will not be in radians so the, the maximum value will be the minimum will be from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 in radius and that and, and, what, what, and what is the purpose of this in this method the contour line the value the the contacts at the contact point the value of this will be zero so that sorry So at the at the boundaries, at the boundaries where the contour is zero, that point can be considered as the as uh, as the edge of where we have. So that is the most important start of this TDR to look at whether the contour is zero. That will mark the the boundary between the two. Now we are just going to use two method. The mistake people make is just to use the first vertical derivative. And those get the linear map, which is sometimes wrong. 
one method is not enough. Combining these two, you can do a very great job. How do you combine them? Now, to get the result structural map alignment, we map peaks of the AGMs. Remember in the AGM, HGM, the, 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 the peak value, the ice color, they are plotted along the zero contour lines of the tilt angle derivative, which is very important. You have to superimpose these two maps. So there will be a good correlation. You look for areas where there is a good correlation. That is where the zero contour is lying exactly on the ice value or on the AGM. Then you now digitize those area and that will now give you the structural map of the area. One example of this is a work. You have many works out there on the internet. You see, this is edge distinction or structural analysis. So this one of the paper has been published 2019. You see, edge detection or and magnetic depth of this, this in northern low from low latitude. If you scroll down, you see different approach. You have data analysis, you see the edge, they, they use the, the, for the depth, they use a spectral analysis, which is, which, which is part of what we'll do. So we we'll look at the correlate, you see they, they're able to mark fault. Then when you come down to the final part, so this is where the, the, the good correlation forms. So those red points, you see the peaks of AGM, the, this contour, zero contour of the TDR, where you see those threads, and that's why you see the correlation very well, which we are going to see when we start. And at the end of the day, they come up with this. This is a structural map of the area. You see, this is a structural map of what you are going to Please, do. sir. Yeah. I don't see the screen. Huh? Maybe it's your own. I've, I've, I've shared it. I've shared the screen. Is there? I, 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 everybody is seeing the screen. The screen is shaded. Maybe the, 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 the yes, screen is shaded. Okay. 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 The screen? It's shaded. So are you seeing it now? Yes, off. Yeah. So now, are, are you seeing it? I see it from the beginning. Okay, okay. I don't understand. From the beginning, let me see. Um, what is happening? So now, are you seeing the screen? Yes, yes. I am. I Yes, okay, so, I uh, uh, sorry, maybe it was uh, from the something. So what I'm saying the other time is this is the structural map of the study area. This gives a lot of uh, things are taking place around the area. They're able to map out for that is what we exactly want to do. The structural map of this area with detailed structural interpretation of the derivative maps, DUI event and the rest and the rest. So this one is very important. So that so this is what sometimes they call it the alignment map. So you can do it without using any software there, right inside this to match the two. So, so that is the best approach that we are going to see how to use it. So, so that is what we are going to do to able to get these structural maps and to map areas that where we have minerals, suspects we have minerals. They have to be correlation. So once you correlate two methods, then, then you are actually satisfied that yes, everything is going to work in place. So there is no way you can use only one method to, to find the structural map. So you see, if you're going to use a vertical derivative, it's already part of the TDR. So no need to use the first vertical derivative, which is also part of the TDR. So combining these two is enough for you to, to not get the structural map. And that is what we are going to do. Because once you know the structural map, then what happens next is now for you to model those areas take profile across those areas you want to see. So now, let's go to our OS montage. I think this was where we stop, right? So we stop here. So it's where we stop about the regional. Now let's go to our residual. Now this is what we are going to work on. Now I'm going to remove this one. I don't need it. I'll remove this. Uh, so now I'm going to remove this man. Uh, reduce to the equator, which is our TMI. I'll remove it. Now we have this. What you need to do is to now to get the or total horizontal derivative, which is straightforward. Your grid is selected. You come down to mag map. No, you go to grid and image. Come to uh, filters. Let me take it again. Grid and image filters. 
you come to generalize no no uh, no horizontal gradient you come to horizontal gradient because that is a total that's why it's hg hgm horizontal gradient method so you wait for some uh few seconds so this one will come it has to it has directional derivative you have the normal gradient value so you click on this one you can click on this question mark to see what not like what we did other time you can see the difference between the two you see it here if you look at the gradient magnitude this is what you give second a first vertical a first derivative along x square and that is exactly what we see here so so that's why we choose the gradient uh, magnitude only after not not the direction we're not after this one so we're going to choose only this one that's why we have this one you see directional gradient you put zero gradient uh, gradient magnitude one so so this is why we select this one so we are only after this not the other one then the input grid of course is our residual then the output we now call this hgm xy that is it that's what we have we we'll click okay so now we click okay now this is what we have you can see it now we are going to plot map for this one we're going to plot map. Remember, this is the HGM. What does the HGM tell us? The the highest colors are actually the contact. The, this 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 pink color you are seeing that is very high. So those are actually the contact. Not those light red are actually not contact because they do not lie vertically. So those why you see the light pink, the highest color that means they are vertically aligned down, which is what we are actually looking for. Now let's grid this. Let's map this one. Create a, a, a map so that we can see it clearly. New map. Scan grid, which we have no how to do it. AGM. Next. Scale. HGM. Have scale also. Okay. Finish. Then map tools. Base map. Five and two. Then edge stick. Yeah, okay, because we don't have to use the compass direction because this is X Y. Next, yeah, you can call it the AGM map. Later we can change it in ArcGIS. <coughs> now we have this. The next is to bring out our map. Now single grid. So now yeah, it's why it gets interesting. So you have you have to pay attention. At this point, we select the HGM, we apply shadow, then we click more, we go to shading effect, then we click on this vertical scale factor. It now makes it more easier. You click on this, it's going to be play, then you put current map. You see it now? So it makes it easy and nice to view. So, and that is what you need to take note of. Then now, let's bring our this. Uh, legend bar of course the unit is going to be parameter nano tesla parameter because from this this is just square this is nanometer tesla by meter then the square and that of the square root will go so the unit is still nano tesla parameter then we just change now we we'll go to the places of decimal uh, we can change it maybe to three. You can leave it to three or two. Anyway, you can choose and choose locate. Then come down, click. Then we are good to go. Now, now we can move this one here, and then here is where we are. So this is a AGM. Click outside project, then save. No. Go back to your map. Go to ArcGIS, save current as that. Now, what do you do there next is to now go here and set the location under maps. Now it's HGM, save. Now, okay, so we wait for a few seconds. So, it, so it's going to open a few seconds.
so now you see it has been saved. Now close all window. Okay, save all. So now we are finished with the AGM. Now let's go back to our residual. Now we need to do the what? Tilt angle derivative. Now this time around we're going to mark map. You see this is tilt derivative, TDR. You can see the TDR. You can click on this question mark. You can see the theory behind it. So this is what we're talking about here. You see, tan inverse of this. The, the, you see, the, the range is from minus pi over 2 rad to pi over 2 rad. And that is the ranges. And these are the references from where the algorithm was built on. So these are the references. You can read about it, what it does. Now, let's input the grid. The grid is our residual. The output, we call it TDR, XY. Yeah, we just give it this name, HD. Doesn't need it any name because it's, it is not needed here. Yeah? Then you leave everything the way it is. What you after is TDR X. Now it gives you two maps. So this, so this we don't need this one. HD TDR, remove it. Now what we need is this TDR. You see this, so this is the TDR. As you can see, this is the TDR. We need also to 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 map this one. But this time around, we are going to make use of the quantua quantua on top of it, which will. So, which will be like this? So, we'll scan the grid TDR XY. That will place OK. Next, scale. Then TDR. Finish. Draw base map. On the right, five. On the left, two. TDR map, so that you have the two maps now, which you can now design. Now, go to map tools, single grid. We are going to select the grid here, TDR. You can see the TDR here. The same apply shadow. Come here, click on this, then click on this calculator. Then you put current map. Now you can see it. So this is the one. Let's bring the scale down. Uh, so this one now, uh, let's give it four decimal place. Now this time around is not, this will be in radians. In radians. Then locate this and this. Now we can move it here. Now you can check that we are still correct. To know that we are correct, let's check the ranges of values. The, the range of value is you can see is from minus 1.3 to 1.3, which is actu actually within the range. And that's what we see. So that means it's okay. Now, if we zoom out, right, you can see to, if we zoom out now, so you can see we're not seeing the zeros actually. Yeah, you can not able to actually this, so, but you can put contour on it to go to map. Now, let me go to the map tools. Contour, you see that is contour. Click on contour. Then here, yeah, the input grid is the TDR. The lowest value is zero. So you put the exact value, which is zero. Then I come to options. Uh, take okay you can now leave it like this then you go to uh, line style thin black okay thin black is okay uh, I think option may let me see there's one more Okay, I think we can press it. Okay. Now, do, do you see it? Are you are you seeing black lines? Hello. So are we, are we there? Yes. So you see that black line. You see that black line. 
That black line is the contour. It's showing you that these are the edges. So that is what the tilt derivative is giving you. It's a lot of zero contours. Those contour passes on what? On top of the contact we have. So this is a zero contour. Hello? We have. Yes. The black lines are faint. Which, which black lines? The lines you are talking of right now, they are yeah. faint. Faint as in how? They are dark. It's not visible. It's not visible. Uh, they are smooth, smooth, smooth line. This yes, line. the line is supposed to be bold. Okay. You know, you see, you know, you know it's because okay. you see, uh, when you export it, yeah, you have to, to zoom. Okay. You have to zoom, you see? Okay. When you zoom. It's okay, you saw that. Because it, it, it's there. So it's there. So if you want to remove it back, if you want to remove it, it's very simple. That's something I've, I've, I've not told you yesterday. Let me come back, zoom to this one. So if you want to remove that contour, just right click on the map. You see, you have what is called toggle map view. Click on this. Now, you see your left hand side change. You see this one? You have contour. So you see, this is the contour. You see, now this is a contour. You see, you have selected the contour. You can go with it. You can delete it. If I click on it, I'll press the delete key on the keyboard. Now you see it has gone. Right? So you can close it here. Then you can input. You can change the color if you want back to map tools, contour. Then this is it. Then we'll go to, let me see. There is a, I want to display the value on it. Okay. Line style. So it has some little delay. Okay. Next. Okay. Yeah. What to go to next? Click next. Next. Now you see label one. Let's show that zero. Now send it to yes. Then finish. Then now click OK. Now you see the idea. Let me zoom out. You can can I see the zero? So are you are you seeing the zero now? Yes, it's appearance. Yeah, so now so that should so this so these are the zero. Now you see we have uh now draw those maps. So those are the this map you save. So you see, so those those are the ones you need. The letter you this, because this one has, has to be there. This one, so that you can export it and then plot your map. So that those zero people are not, those are the boundaries. So you have these two maps separate, which you now go to a file, project, save. Click on no. Look back on this. Then go to ArcGIS, MSD, then save the current map. Now, so, the, 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 yes. These black lines, what are they now showing? Is it contact yeah. between the... the contacts, the contact between rocks of, of uh, almost equal uh, um, of um, susceptibility? Okay. Because, because, for example, let's say something is is increase is in, is something the value is five. Then on the right is mm. five. In between, you have something that is higher than five or lower than five. Then that point mm. is the boundary. You see their logic. Oh. And mostly, mostly you find this one in sedimentary area when you have intrusion. When you have intrusion, you oh. can see on the left and the right, the values, the susceptibility is almost zero. The edges okay. to be maximum. So that zero is actually at the edges, but not all of those actually are contact. So we need to join the two. Right? Okay. To see the okay. two. And that's what we are going to do next. This is why it's for you to know oh. these are contact, but they are not all contact. So they have to agree okay. with it with the HGM. So for now, we'll not get our alignment from that side. Which oh, okay. See. So now let's go to save it on my maps. Let's save. So click OK because we are going to edit this later. So I need so another name. Yeah, I don't yeah. No, now you see you cannot oh. clear because the, it's not yet mapped. You want to carry it to ArcGIS, we design it. When you display it, you see it to come out clearly. Okay. But now the way you see, don't also look at it. You cannot see it clearly because this is not the, the final render. You're going to render. And now we'll close all the windows here. Save. Make sure you click on save all. Now we already have our maps that are there. So we wait to close. 
Then later we'll go back to our TDR. To our TDR is this. Now we are going to play with this. Just give me a minute. Hello. So so I'm back. Sorry, I'm back. Okay. Okay, now okay, now now they now we have done this first part. We're able to get these two maps. Then the next thing to do is to have a correlation. We have to correlate the two. Now to get results of the map, we need to map peaks of the AGM and plotted along with the zero contours of the TDMR. What I'm saying by this, let's zoom out place the space bar and you pan. Now you see what we want to do. You see these zero lines. We are going to leave it on this map. We will remove the grid and replace it with the HGM. And that is what we are going to do. So, so I hope you, you get what I'm saying. We are going to remove this. You see this, this one you see here. Right? If you just right click on it, right click. You see, when you right click, put toggle map view. Come to this. You see them here? This is the base. That is that base map. If you, if you off it, you see it has gone. Then if you come here, you see, under this, I have TDR. You see the TDR? So this is the TDR. It has gone. This are uh, now the word zero. And this is what you see in this man work. I'm not trying to do to do exactly what this person does to show you how it is oh. done. What, what I'm doing, let me show you what he has done. Oh, let me show somewhere, somewhere. Okay, you see it? You see it, yeah? So, so something like this, you see it? Yes. So, yes. so those are the zero. So, so now you see, what we want to do now, this red is not the AGM. So we are going to display this. You see, I've removed the, the what? The TDR. Yeah. See there? You see, I've off the TDR. Now I will not bring in the what the HDR to bring on this okay. one. Right? Okay, to superimpose on import impose. Okay. That is what you okay. see. So you say this is the red, but you do it in a different way, which is not interesting. We'll do it a better way yes. how to go about it. Then what you do now, you go to map again. You see, make sure you off this one, then go to a map, map tools, then go to grid anime display, single grid. This map is still open. Then now switch to what? HGM. Right, then now uh, the same go to map, make sure that you, you go to shadow effect, you have this one on, then current map. So, what what, what do you see? So, are, are you seeing something now? Yes, then now you see here, uh, I've already off, you see it, I've off the TDR, it's not the HGM is display. Now, what mm -hmm. do I said on the slide? A good correlation can be seen between the peaks that is the brightest color of the HJMI on that map and the zero line that is where okay. the zero line pass on that that ice color that is the lineament. Yes. And yes. that is you can see the correlation here. Let me zoom out. Can you see it here? You see this one? Yes, yes, yes. You see? yes so you yes. see this is the bright, so this is a lineament. So this is yeah, yes. so this is actually a linear. You see, the, there is correlation oh. here. Yes. 
and there are all the so there are many the other areas. Is yeah, yeah, there is yeah. no yeah, pink no, no. or so, yeah, yeah, so that yeah. is, this place is wrong. We cannot call it right. Yes, so, so it's not now, clean. Yeah, so this is linearment. You are now going to put those lines, right? Which are now you have to do. So, so you see them? Yes. Many, you can you can now zoom. Yeah, I mean, you see them? You see them them? You see them there? You see them? You see them? You see like this? This and this. Where it ends? Don't come to this red. This is the red. This is the ice. Mm. The ice is this pink color. So mm. You see, it passes through. You see, touch. That is, this one is linearment. This one is linearment. This one is, this one is linearment. And that is, if you come back here to the other side, you see them, you see those areas. So this part are not, not has to do with linear media. Yes, no not. It's more. So, so this is what this pe person did. When I use enough matthew to red, red, but I own and later mm. in, 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 I produce the structural map, which this one, you see it? Yes. So this is what something like this can be done. Structural map. Of, of those areas, how to map oh, those okay. areas, and that is what now we are going to do. So now it's like this selected, right? You see, yes. now it's now what you now do. Let me come to full extent. It's like this. Now we need to close this part. Then we're yes. going to do it. Like I said, there is many things that is not even there. Uh, like I said, it's going to be available uh, later. Like I say it's not even there, so you have to find a way to. Manu man manipulate things. It's not done there. There's no way you can get those linear from this. That's why you need ArcGIS, you need QGIS. Right? So that you see, what you do normally do is to come here and say, some people do come here and call GX, go to CET. They call it CET grid. See, yeah, grid analysis. So this is what they do for the linear You see, you see, when you come here, you see them here? City is a linear man detection edges. You see them? Textual analysis. Okay. Uh, so but, but that one, you are only applying only one grid on the on the what? On the on the T on the vertical derivative. But you end up get the same result with what you are doing. But if even more better than because that one you only use one method. This one is two combined and the correlation. You're looking for where the correlation is. So you have mapped those areas. And that is not for you to even come here and even use all this one. That is only one grid you are using. So end of the day, you are going to get the same. How do you now going to get those linearments? Now, so this is how we are going to do it. This, you are not going to export this one. What you have exported is only the AGM and TMI, what we see there. Now, what to do? We are going to go back to map. Now export. So this team around, you see, not JPEG. You come to Jotif. You see it? Jotif. So this is Jotif. Okay. Jotif. Now it's not a map form. They click on this. You see, you have screen. Click on screen. You, are not, you see the size. This will give you high quality, but we, we need more than this. I can go to 460. Right? You see the size. What size do you see? 36 megabyte. Right? So that, yes. so that if you zoom out, you will see it more clear. You can able to not draw the lines on it, right? And that's how it is done. And that's what the software actually is doing on this OS montage. It's doing behind the scene, drawing those lines, right? But here we do it the way that should have been done. You see, put it on screen, you change the side, then click OK. Now, we see put it under maps, right? Uh, I can call it uh, anyone. TDR slash HGM combined together. Click save. You know where we save it design map, they will click save. Now, now it finish, right? We minimize. Let's save. I think we have done with the OS montage. Let's go to QGIS, which is free. This is QGIS. Now, what we are going to do is this one, right? So you, you to have to work with both the two. Which one? The... Yeah, other two, of course, of course. Hey, yeah, is it two? Uh, <laughs> you said what do you say? You should have to use both OSIS montage and then the IGS. Uh, of course, there's there is no because because, it's, because if even the data we collected is a special data, it has coordinate okay. and value. That is coordinate and value, that is special data. Is still they are still within the same field, but these are different. Oh. End of that's why they share they have their sharing. 
it's still GIS. Oh. It's a spatial data, a coordinate at a point, a value at a coordinate, that is spatial data. So, and that is what we have. You see, we want to produce something like, you see, this one cannot be done in, in, in ice montage. It's not there. Okay. So we have to find a way out. This is the boundary of our study area, which we are going to create, right? Mm -hmm. Then when we create a study area, it will not come exactly on that map, okay? Now, I will just minimize this one, right? Uh, I'll open Excel. This is my Excel, right? On my Excel, I'm going to write X. I'll write Y. You see, you see, all this is sometimes, that's why the software don't have the the manual to show how to do this thing. It's left for the user to find a way out. It, it, it has done its best. It's left for you now to know what mm. you, you want to do. So the, the, the data is correct. It's your analysis that will make you wrong. The data is mm. correct. The data collected, the, 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 the data we are using is correct. Nothing wrong with it. It's your analysis that will give you wrong interpretation. But once you have a good analysis, interpretation becomes very easy and in line. Just like when we use the upward continuation with the regional, the correlation is okay. Now, what I'm going to do, want to draw this bounding box. You see this box? This bounding box. Mm. And put those lines inside. Mm. Now, how do you do it? Do you do? I think, uh, just for, I think, I think we, 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 I think we did this map. That was yesterday, right? Yes. Yes. Now, let, let's get the, the boundary here. I think the boundaries are here. You see the X, the minimum is eight, and this is 8.5. I think this, because 30 minutes is 0.5 degree, right? So now, un under your X, you put 8.5. No, I'm sorry. Eight, eight. and 8.5, right? Then now, the Y, what, what is the Y? Let's go back. When this, I think we can start from here. It's still done. At this, you can see from this point to this point. What What is the difference? It, it, I, I think I started, right? This will be 30. This will be 11 degree 30, 30 minutes because of the yeah. difference of 66 minutes. That means that will be 11.5, right? So that means when X is 8, Y is 11.5. 11.5. We are going this way. Is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? This. So they will move to this next point, this edge. When X is 8.5, Y is still what? 11.5. 11.5. Now, we have, now we, we, we go up. We go up. When X is 8.5, 8 what is Y? I think, I think why is 12? Because 6 plus 54, that is 60 minutes. 60 minutes is 1 degree. That is 12. You can yes. see that will give us 12. This will give us 8.5, and this will give us 12. Then this one will give, what, 8? Because we are not coming down to this part, to this man. So at this man, X is 8.8, and eight. is 12. Yes. So you see the add values. So that, that means why the minimum, so this is what you do it. This is okay, like this. Just cross check. Then you click on save. Go to our, this thing, we browse to our desktop. And we look for where we save it. Training, they will put it under data. We change the format. Uh, command delimited, they will call it study area. So we'll press save. Now, you see? It, it has been done, right? So those things have been done. Then we minimize, we close. Now, like I said, we need to go back to Q ArcGIS, right? You see, we are mixing up both the two. So now we go to ArcGIS, you go to data, add data. You browse to your, let's go to our folder. Look at the home button, go to our, uh, where was it? Let me see. See that data training. I don't know whether we have, uh, oh, oh, okay, it's not that one. It was OS montage. 
training training uh, so wh why is it so I i'm not seeing it here is it not at the desktop no okay Let, let's go to the connection Let, let's connect to the folder again awesome training we still connect Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, let me see. It, it is supposed to be somewhere. I'm not seeing that folder. It's up. Up? I just saw it. Yeah. Training, our training. Yeah, it, it has OSM training. Uh, it's OSM training, but I'm still. Okay, sit there. Uh -huh, sit there. Because I've made many work. That's why it, the folders are plenty. Then under, I think, where, where do I save the data? Right? You see, this is the study area. This so this is what you have stored the area CSV you add it. So now it's there, but we need to. It's not show. We have to right click, right click, then display X Y data. So you see, it's the X data that will choose. So this we see unknown coordinate system, right? This unknown coordinate system. So we need to put it into what the right. Which is remember it was in degree. This was in degree geographic. When I see go under geographic coordinate system, then we'll go to wall, then WGS 84, 984, that is the one, then okay, then finally we put this okay. Now these are the points, right? So yeah. see them here, event. So we, we need to, this one, this one you see, see there, give it this point. Mm -hmm. Right click on it, data, export data. Then now uh, you click the the lay, lay, layout. No, I think there is no need because we are going to commit it later. Yeah, okay, select the format. Now the format now is shape file. Then we'll go back to our. We'll go back to our connection. I don't know where this one is going. It used, used to enter. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, this one is well. The under share files. Then you now call it study area points. So this is what we have. Right, study error point, I will click OK. So you see, we have this, which is yes. So now this, these are the points. If we open the attribute table, we can see them here. So this is what we have. Then now, we need to go to this arc, uh, come down here. So yeah, we don't need this one again. We can remove this data. Now we only have this one. Then we have to come here under uh, team database management tools. It's, you can click on this in case it's missing. You can click on this to show database management tools. Then under, under let me see, what was it? Uh, let me see what it is. Where do I saw it the other time? Mm. Oh, no, this one. This one is to project. Um, uh, thing is supposed to be some um, that uh, okay. Okay, it's 
conversion okay, it's, no, it's, it's, no, it's not conversion it is under this let me check where it is no okay so you come under this one you come under features okay. under feature you see feature to what polygon. polygon you click on feature to polygon let's see then Okay, no, no, it's not there. It's not feature to polygon then. What point to line? Mm -hmm. First you come to point to line. Click point to line. You first select point to line, then you enter the input, which is the point. We have picked it up. Yeah. So you wait for some some from few seconds. If you select point to line, then you just select the data from here. Let's wait for some few seconds. Mm -hmm. Now you see, just leave this the way it is. This is the name. Just click on this close line because it's a close part. Then you click OK. So you see, it's, it's really working on it. Now, do, do, you, do you see it? Yes. So now we, we need to off this one. The point has gone, we have off it. Now we need to convert this one. You see, this one is a line. If you right click on it, come to a property, it will see it's a line. We want a polygon. So it's loading. I don't know what happened. You see, you see the geometric type is line. And, and it's WGS 1984, which is okay. So now what we need is to change that to polygon. After this, you now come to the, you see, feature to what? Polygon. You see there? Double click on it. You double click on it, it's going to open here. You select it. You see this one? Just select it. Then everything is done. Then just click OK. Now you see, this is one. It's now, now we can off this place. So we don't need it to remove. No, we remove this one, we remove. Now this is, see, this is my, I can double click on this. Double click on this, you put hollow. You can change the background, the outline color to be red. You can increase the width. Now this, this is my what? Study area, right? Mm. So this is the study area. So now I can now export it. I'll click on it. Export, data, export. So you export this one, you select this one. So when you break that one, you are going to export it under shape files, right? Mm -hmm. You say now say study area. I think study area. So that this is why it's point, the study area. Save, save. No, yes. You no, know, you can put as a layer if you wish, but no, we don't. Okay, let's put yes. Now this is the one. We can now go with this. We don't use one again. Now this is the study area, right? Which we have, mm. you see it? So this is what we have, we have saved this one. So, so you see, so this is the study area, which we have. In So you see, you can now see, can you see down here? I want you to look down here. If I'm here, you see it's around eight. If I come here, it's around 8.5, 8.49. That means it's correct. Let me close this one, no save. And let's go to QGIS. Right, we are finished with this. What with this boundary, right? Boundary box. Mm -hmm. So we finish with that boundary box. Now the next thing to do now is to what? Is to able to have those one plot, right? Then oh, I think I close uh, this. We should have plot the map from there. Let it open now. Let's go to this map. Let's bring out this grid that we export. Let's go to. It's very simple. Let's go to layer. Data beds management source in the pop up. We see we have vector, we have raster. Raster is tiff, geo tiff. See, this is geo tiff. You can see the, the image, just look like that is image data. Click on this. No, no, browse. This was in my maps, right? I don't know. Let's go back to database our training. Solve it under maps. 
You see, no, you can you see you can filter air in case you are lost. Go to Jotif. You see it? Jotif. You see, it has only show you one. So now you click open, then add. See now it's there. Do you, do you see it? So, so it's what you see. You see the map as come. You see it? So in, that is in case you, you don't have add GIS. So this is how to use it inside QGIS. Okay. So in case you don't have the add GIS, you can see you square and draw your map. We have to export it to Jotev. There you do. There you click on this dot. Place this one, then click OK. So now you see. So this is the map. You see, let's zoom. Do, do, do you not see it? Are, are, are you seeing it now? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, so, so now we are going to make line on this. Yeah, so you see, we are going to make line on this. That's why we increase the the, the size of the image. You see? Mm. You see them? As far as you can. You can click on this to now bring it to zoom out, zoom in. So you use your mouse, you can scroll like this. If you want to take this, but you do, right? Then how do you, now let's bring back to, click on this, right click, zoom to layer. You are bringing it back to normal. Now, let's bring that area we have to cross check. Database management tools, now go to vector. Now select that folder, go back. Under shape files, filter to S3 field files, study area. You see it? Bring that study area. Add. Right? So you can see there. So you see, it's just that this one, it is, you see. So you see, there's no way it can, because you know the reason why we have not projected it to X, Y, because this one was in what? X, 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 Y, right? So this one is in X, Y. It was not the other way that we do that one. So, so now we, are, we have this one ready. Now uh, we need to go back here. You see the map now? We need to draw linearment for this. How do you do it? It's very simple. You come down here. Under layer, create layer, new shape file layers. Mm -hmm. you, you select the folder locations. You go to your desktop. You go to your uh, your location. You go to shape files. Now you call it linear mint. Linear mint save. Then select the format. It is line. Then you click OK. Now, this is what you have. There is a button here. You can untick it. So you see, you click on the lineament. So this is what you want. And now you move first. Let's say I want to map these areas like this. Map this area. You can do like this. The little I can do like this. Anyway, you want it. Now, let me do this one. Do this one up to this. You click on this. You click on this one. See, toggle editing. There you click on the next button, add line features. When you click, you see your, your arrow change. A simple thing, you just click at this point, you click, you click, you click, you click, you are dragging, you are just clicking drag. Till you reach the this point, you click, finally there you right click. You press OK. You see the line, this is one line. You can still continue. You take the other one, you click on this, click at the end, right click, you press OK. You take this one, click, click to end. Then, then after you click at the end, you right click again. This one will show up, OK. Then you can, you can now use your space bar. Hold the space bar, you can uh, pan. Then now you see, it's still there, right? But you see something like this. Uh, just click on this. You can go like this. Go like this. Just follow it like this. Then right click. You have this. And here there is somewhere. Yeah, this. 
this, this, right click, move this one up, okay. You, you press the space bar, then again, cancel it by right clicking, press this, here, and right click, okay. You come here, I see this one, click, click, right click, you are there. Let's do this one. You see this one? I can click here, click here, click here, click here. Mm, okay. okay. This one is not, I can stop here. Right click. Okay, now I'll continue from here. I'm following the black line and the pink. Is it the color, the, the, the purple color? Right click, okay. Then this part and this part, right click, okay. Uh, this part and this, right click, okay. This part, this part, this part, right click, okay. Then now I will use the, you can place this one. Fine. Do as many as possible. You remain this one. That's how it is. You click this one again. When you have finished, okay. You can do the same thing here. This, this, right click. Okay. This, this, right click. Okay, this, this, right click, okay. Then this, 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 right click, okay. This, 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 right click, okay. It's just a line, you are drawing a line on top of that, but make sure the black passes through it. You see, I cannot draw it because there's no black on it. Then this part, I cannot go like this because there's no black. I'll go like this, this like this, this like this, this like this. Right click, this. Then this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, right click. Like this. This point, this point, this point, this point, right click, like this. This point, this point, right click, this. This point, this point, right click, this. Uh, this point, this point, right click, this. This point, this point, this point, right click, this. Uh, okay, you press the space bar. Cancel it. Okay, that's cancel. Uh, Cancel it. We see it. You can scroll back in. Now look for area. It's okay. Let me come here. Zoom here. Now you can look at this one. This, this, right click. This. This, this, right click. This. This, this, right click, this. So you can scroll back in and look for area like here. Click, click, right click, this. Then click here, click here, right click, this. Click here, click here, right click, this. So we have this. So I think. So, so, so I hope you are now getting it, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. So, so, so yes, you can go ahead. It's not it's, because very important. It, it, it should just give time to this and do it. You must not just say it's, it's you cancel. Just click cancel because it's not a point. You are looking at this. This it passes through. Like so, I cannot delete this one. Like this, it stops here. I click this. 
this one is you see this one it, it's actually part because this is the, the 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 something so i can now make this part make this part like so and take this well this part is not there this part this part not there okay. I think we are there. Mm, okay. This man and this man. Yeah, okay. This man is not does not touch much. Okay. Unfold. This, this. Then, then this, this. Then you can so, zoom in. Yeah, let's see. Use the mouse. Use the space bar. Because of them, they are now. You see them there. And this one, this, this. That's a straight line, if you like. I think I think we can just say for ya, right? So I think this is uh what we have. Cannot click on this, zoom to layer. So so you see at least we have gone far and what? Draw those lines, right? So we're able to draw as many lines, uh, even this one. It's not there. We're going to click on this layer. This, this, this. So at least So you see it now. So so that is how to go about it. A place, okay. So you do this. I think that's what we have. Then we are able to delineate some of them. Far as far as you can see, you can still come back to it later because it is already safe. You can still edit it, add more to a point that you have not done. So you can go over it. So I think it's, after you have done with this, you just click on this, save, all layers, then click on this. Now it is there, they have off this layer. Right, you see, you off it here, it's off, this is what, you, you double click on this. When you double click on this, you go to symbology, simple line, change the color to black, Increase it, apply, and that is it. Do you see it? Mm. So now click on this zoom tool here. Yeah. Very nice, sir. Uh, so, so, so you see, so this is you can do it as many as the, those ones that you see in those areas. That actually, so that's why I see it because there are some other areas. If you bring them down here, you cannot see them on the map. You see those lines there. So you can just come back and go over them and look at why see those peaks correlate well. And that's why you're not able to map them out. So we click on this zoom to layer. So so this now is the linear. So this is what we have. Yeah. Yeah, map. So that's what we have. It is safe. So now, okay, I think we have already done this. Why you like now you can save it one. What I mean, you can save it as a project, you go back to that, you can come back to later and edit it. Now you put it under what? Uh, QGIS project. And I call it linear means. You can come to it, edit it later, and then still. If you want to do it, you still click on this. Edit. Click on this. You do it repeat from where you stop. Now you have closed this one, you have done. So you see, you have done with this one. 
So you come back to this ArcGIS. <coughs> Please, I can ask a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how we could uh, uh, t take their depth to the basement? I know that would, that would be the next day. That would be tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because tomorrow we'll merge the two and do the depth together. Tomorrow will be the last uh, webinar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We'll write right tomorrow and finish up the depth way to show how to go about it. So because this one is time because I want you to, because you want you to know this one. This one alone can stand as a paper okay. to publish to 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 those isolate the areas and find the structures area in the areas. That one is depth. I go to under, I think under, where do you have uh, shear files? Liniment, now see the liniment add. You see, it, 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 so this, there is synergy between the two. Click on this one, change the color to black, then okay, you see? So now you see them, you can, you can increase the size if you want to two. Okay, no, only it's too big. Maybe you can give it 1.5 if you want. Now, you see this one, if we right click, let's right click on this, properties. Let's go to properties. Because our area is in different coordinate. So we're going to, rep now you see it. So we have this one in uh, WGS1984. So let's see whether if we bring that one, our study area. Right, so you see the study area one, if you right click, properties. The properties, so you see we have this one, right? It's 84, so now, uh, I think what we have, I think, now come here, let, let me remove this one. No, no need to do this one, right? Because since that one is, is done, let me see, let's go back to, let's open our T TMI, one, one of the TMI we did. Under maps, TMI. No. So we can able, able to man maneuver something here. I think break it there. Let, let it load. So, so it's just loading. So we see my this thing is low. Okay, let me see. So now what we need to do, let's go back to our data. Our data then bring us our lineament. Right? Then move it up. Hello, sir. Uh, what, uh, what, what is happening? Sorry, it will not move up. Under your table of contents, you are supposed to click it first by your okay, left okay. hand. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, see it here. Hey, right hand side. Thank you. Uh, let's move it up. Okay. Maybe that is, let me see. Uh, okay, this, I think we need to do a conversion. Uh, uh, projection until we need to project so we, we need to reproject this one lineament our lineament was not in the way that's why it did not show because you see it shows in that the other one because they're in the same place let me see Conversion project. There is project. So where where it is? Let me check. And uh, features features in data management tools. Hmm? In data management tools features. Data management tools. Where where features. it is? Features. 
no, no. It's pro project. I to project it. I saw I saw it. Oh, project and transformation? Yes. Uh, above, above, a uh, project mental. Mm, scroll, uh, scroll up, scroll up. Scroll up, scroll up. Uh, under what? Projection and... Uh, projection, oh, you see, projection, yeah. Mm -hmm. Projection project. They have put the input class, which is the lineament. Mm. Because it is supposed to show that side. Okay, now, okay. Output feature class. So this, you can leave it like this. Then we'll take the which, which coordinates is the nice. Athena is geographic, right? We'll put to geographic. WGS 84, okay. Oh, something because this is a this is not a raster. This is a pair. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming, coming, coming. I'm coming. I think let's let's open a blank. Let's open a blank because it was in the raster area. Um. Uh, let let it open first. We, we just need to project that on the system. So maybe she said maybe that was the issue. I think oh no. View data view. They'll come to data, uh data in a minute. Project. So maybe I, I think we should have do this one in the what in the in the what in the uh, yeah. geographic right maybe. at the end of the day if we export it it's going to be in geographic and that was maybe the oversight should have made should have make it more easier no I'm sorry not not projected it's not projected geographic uh graphic 1984 okay let's see whether mm -mm. oops so, so what is what is happening projected not uh, in geographic uh, coordinate system it will be a yeah. projection okay can come in Okay, okay, it will it will it will it will be the the UTM. Okay. Okay, UTM, uh, okay, UTM, yeah, I'm sorry, UTM. In your uh, area. 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 Not that hemisphere, 32 degree not this is the one. Okay. Okay. Oh, again, what's happening? Something went wrong here. Hello, sir. May yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see. Wait, wait, let, let's see something. Let's go to ArcGIS. Let's uh, import ArcView shape files. Then shape file, you browse this point. Mm -hmm. Then you go to, uh, I think it's OCM, I think it's under the shape files. Okay. Linear Mint, this. Then uh, do not import on current map. You see, you see, you see that they're there, but you're not seeing it, right? 
let me click on this toggle my view. You see, I see, you see, there's a way to, to maneuver things. Let me see. That is not. So the color color is not there. What, what went wrong? So I don't know the problem, where the problem come from. This was actually our dynamite. I don't know where the issue is from. Please the tap zoom to layer in the lineament. Tap zoom to layer. Uh, uh, there, this is appearance. Where? Go to geoprocessing, geoprocessing results in ArcGIS. Okay, geoprocessing. Results. Results. Okay. Results. Time, time, time. Click, click here. This is the error message. Run. Hello, sir. Yeah. I I think I once faced a problem like this, and what I did was I clicked yeah. on view, on view, view, view. view. Oh. Okay, data frame properties. Data frame properties. Data frame properties. And then I went to coordinate system. Coordinate system. So you can see, uh, I can see something unknown there. Yeah, okay. I now pick the, uh, I think the geographic coordinate system and define it to WGS 1984. Okay, geographic. Okay. Then you can now okay it. No, this thing you cannot, let me see. Apply then okay. Apply then okay. 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 Right, -click, right click on the lineament and zoom to layer. Zoom to layer. So it's not showing. It's not showing. Yeah. So what may be the problem? Switch it. Our, you see? our linear are in, in, in are not in raster form, are in vector form. And okay. we into okay, we should uh, handle them with the uh, raster projection and transformation uh, with the uh, raster tools. Okay. Raster tools. Um, I don't I don't remember, but with vector. Okay. 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 Let's see, let's see, let's see. Go to search in search and tap a uh, projection vector. Projection. Uh, near toolbox. Near toolbox. Search. I'm gonna, let me remove this. Uh, uh, let me see. And tap uh, projection okay. vector. Projection vector. Projection vector. Vector. Not rust. Enter. Only projection. Only projection. Can I have it now? Projection. Not also only. Is this one? Project, not raster, vector should. Slowly, just. Uh... Perhaps.
You hear me? Yes. De de define projection. Define projection. Define projection. Okay, define you should you should firstly define projection and uh, this one uh, pro project. Okay, this one. Ah, define projection from this one. From this one. From this one. Yes. Okay, this one. This one. The first one. The first one. Okay, this one. The first one. Uh. This one. No, the the second. This that one. I yes. Okay. Lineaments input, input feature lineaments. Yeah. Uh, output coordinate system. Then now you just geography. Geography should be geographic. Thank you. World double vision. This one? Yes. No. Uh, give it another another name, line name one. Okay, okay, so, okay, one. Okay, one. No, in the, in the yes, there. Okay, name. Line one. Okay. One. Geographic transformation option. Okay. You see the problem is yeah, I don't know the problem. Mm, I don't know. Maybe maybe may, maybe I was suspecting. Maybe you should restart uh, restart uh, 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 Put off and restart them. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Maybe the mistake. The mistake. Mm. You know, you know, you know where the mistake is. No. I think the mistake was, I think we input the Jotif. So we don't know where that Jotif was actually in which coordinate system and when we create those shape files. I think in we did In UTM M to the uh, two. Uh, no, I mean, the time we create the, the shape file, I think we didn't set the, the what, the coordinate at that point. It's so just save it. Uh, uh, well, it's, it's, so it says it's an image, it means so. And we just put shape file without actually defining the, the something. Yeah. Uh, so she, so, yeah, so, so that's what we have. So now I think I have, uh, so what, what I'm going to do later, continue. We, we're able to continue later. I, I will try to figure it out. Okay. So I will we'll meet later, not tomorrow, later first for this one, for the continuation of this, to the end of this. Now, now we're we are able to see those lineaments, actually how to do it, it's just to bring them and now put them in the form of map, something like this. So arrange them, put them in this form of, don't, I didn't know get the lineament, it will be easy to go. So, so I'll try to now figure it out. Let me see what, what was the problem. But, but this is a method to export this one, because if you export this one as a map and try mm. to digitize this one on ArcGIS, it does not work. That's why I put it at but I'll try to find a uh, way out because we have already created this one, actually. Okay? So I think that is uh, what, what we are going, going to do. Okay? So please, uh, I think, uh, stop here. We have to stop here. Uh, we'll meet, let's see. I think my number is there. You can get in touch with me. All right? Maybe this is my WhatsApp number, mm -hmm. which you cannot use. So get in touch with us. Just run this one up. Please, sir, will the video for today be uploaded as well? Uh, uh, it's uploaded. Uh, it, 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 it is going to be uploaded. Okay, thank it's you very much. Uh, so get, get in touch with me this through one so that we can still continue. So once it's going to be available, Right, so we'll, we're able to finish this part. I'm able to get those maps. We yeah. continue today or not? No, no, continue today so that we will not end this part. 
we have to end this one able to finish up this map itself we have to see the structural Today. map yeah, yeah that's what Today. our target is yes so please let me end it here okay so uh, okay. i will figure it out and the rest so once more thank you all thank you okay thank you very much sir okay no problem